There, nice and smooth. Wait, but Mr. Tolpin, aren't you not supposed to set your plane down like that on the blade? Well, you're right. I could set it like this, like we were all taught in industrial arts classes. But the problem with that, of course, is that if I were to go like this and hit it accidentally, it would just go spinning right off the bench, maybe hitting that metal on the way down and wrecking the blade, potentially. So, I'm not in industrial arts class. In fact, I'm not even in the 21st century or the 20th. I'm sort of back in the 18th century when these benches definitely did not, and this one doesn't, have paint, nails, putty, glue, all kinds of crap on it. So actually, this is probably the best way to set a plane down. And any picture I've ever seen, fine art painting of that era, shows the planes always sitting like this. And I believe that is probably why. Because these were very, very expensive. The last thing you wanted to happen was for the blades to get dinged up with metal or to fall on the floor. And if I were to bump into this plane accidentally, like this, the worst thing that happens is it might plane a little bit of wood. So, the answer is, depends what century you're in. Okay, thanks for the lesson, Mr. Tobin.